Well, for more on finance, we're joined in the studio by Rod North, who's the Executive Director of Bourse Communications. Good morning to you. Good morning. And let's just run through the speech by the RBA Governor Glenn Stevens in Hong Kong yesterday. Any surprises? Well, not really, but I suppose one thing that sort of stood out to me a bit was, you know, we recently saw the growth in China, um, you know, uh, come back in terms of its expectation from sort of 8% to 7.5%. But Glenn Stevens focused yesterday on, uh, to a fair degree, on the growth in China. China and how that he felt, uh, you know, it would still be fairly significant and be maintained. And obviously, that's one thing that, you know, Australia is watching very closely because we don't really want to see uh, the China growth uh, figure of GDP decline, you know, any uh, any time soon from the level that it's currently at. And I think the forecasts are about a seven and a half percent. But we've been used to seeing growth in China, you know, well above sort of eight nine percent over the last few years. So that was interesting. But also, um, he indicated that, uh, you know, the Australian economy is very sound. Um, and that I think that uh, we've also recently seen um, the IMF come out and, 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 and make comments about greater stability appearing in Europe. So, you know, the dust seems to have settled a fair bit in the financial services, you know, uh, circles around the world for the time being. And I think that probably, you know, means that the, uh, the Reserve Bank will probably keep its powder dry, you know, for a while, even though a lot of economists are still expecting that the, uh, you know, cash rate, which is currently 4.25 per cent, may see another drop but you know at the end of the day it's better to err on the side of caution and, and just mm. see how our economy uh, you know goes over the next few months. The retail sector is doing it hard still and there's lots of concern in the market particularly for a DJ shareholder about David Jones that shares have been suspended since yesterday what's going well, on? Well they, they went they went yes they were um, put in a, tra a you know a trading, trading hold yesterday yeah. rather than suspended put in a trading hold that's a bit more um, important um, ahead of their result which comes out um, tomorrow and I think the sort of expectation was there's was a bit of speculation. Their shares, you might recall, last year in November are about $3.50. They're currently uh, down to $2.73, so that's a decline of 28%. And, uh, you know, it's been a very tough, uh, you know, retail market. And, and over that December-January period, um, there were sort of issues in terms of the quantum of sales, you know, that were occurring with a lot of the retailers. You know, we've got the online situation. So I think one of the things that we'll be expecting from David Jones, I think, tomorrow when they report is perhaps their profit might be down about um, 20%, which is not great news. But... Um, um, they're also going to be announcing a sort of new strategy for, you know, taking the company forward and, and that may well sort of revolve around um, talking more about what they can do from the online, you know, point of view, from a, a retail point of view. So that'll be interesting to see in respect to, to that, but uh, we'll have to wait and see uh, tomorrow. Now, a modest increase on the share market yesterday. What are we likely to see happen here today? Probably a similar uh, modest increase. I mean, our market's sort of just moving up incrementally at the moment, but there's still a massive disconnect with the US because the US market's uh, powering ahead and ours is uh, really not going anywhere fast at the moment. We need a bit of catch up, I think. Rod North, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, let's take you back to Townsville now, where